We all know that Michael Jordan had an issue with gambling for a while. Like when he gave an interview with sunglasses on saying things like, if I had a problem, I'd be on the streets. But not everyone thinks he's the one with the real problem. Michael Francesi, a former mob boss, has said, I can't see how someone could lose 10 million at a table and not have an addiction. Barkley's the one with the addiction, not Jordan. Hola amigos, welcome to Takes in Fuego. Today we look at Charles Barkley's $30 million problem. Barkley would go golfing with Michael Jordan during their time in the NBA together. It was at this point Charles would see the difference between high rollers and reckless. Barkley remembers those rounds like, I tell you what, I've never been under more pressure and I apologize to Michael for saying this, so we'd be playing golf with certain people and we'd be playing for a couple hundred dollars a hole, nothing crazy, and he'd be playing some guy for a hundred thousand dollars and he's like, Charles, pick that up. And I'm like, this putt is for $200. He'd be like, pick that up, Charles, get out of my way. You're in my line. I'd say, how much is that putt worth? And he'd say, 300,000. So I said, let me get out of your line. It was crazy, man. They were playing for like hundreds of thousands of dollars. It was crazy. Despite knowing that it's crazy, Sir Charles kept up the habit and kept increasing the stakes. He would say, it's a stupid bad habit. I have a problem. But the problem is when you can't afford it. I can afford to gamble. I didn't kill myself when I lost two and a half million dollars. I like to gamble and I'm not going to quit. Barkley will bet on a lot of things. Sports, poker, blackjack. He bet on the Patriots won Super Bowl, both on props and the money line, and he came away with $800,000. That's quite a night's work. He bet $100,000 on the Falcons in Super Bowl 51, and when they got up to a 28-3 lead, he was feeling pretty good about himself. That is until Bill Belichick and Tom Brady came to crush his dreams of that one. $100,000 gone, just like that. Takeaway point, don't bet against Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. And that's the only the start for Barkley. He said that he's probably won a million in one night 10 times. $10 million up? He could retire off that for sure, yeah? He's also said he's lost a million in one night 30 times. 20 million down. He has chosen to quit before. This usually comes after he's lost millions of dollars in the casino and knows he just needs a break. And to his credit, he takes a break. Sometimes for as long as two years. But at least so far, he's always come back. And his non-problems continues to have problems. Or at least they'd be problems for you and me. One time he took out a line of credit for $400,000 from a casino, didn't come back to pay it, and was threatened to settle it in court. Barkley would later pay the $400,000 he owed to the casino and the $40,000 for the lawyer fees associated with the case. There's a known running joke on the show, Charles Barkley's guarantees. He guaranteed the 8 seed Blazers would beat the Lakers in the bubble playoffs. The Lakers turned into NBA champs. He guaranteed the 2015 Thunder would beat the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors turned into NBA champs. When you have guarantees like this, it's pretty easy to see why betting just might not work out for you long term. His predictions on the NBA seldom work out, although he is tremendously entertaining on the show. His predictions on the NFL sometimes work out, and his luck in the casino, more often than not, turns bad for him as well. As of right now, this isn't a problem for Chuck. Hopefully it stays that way. For more videos including Michael Jordan's 5 craziest gambling stories, check out the videos on the screen and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more gambling advice.